The offense gained a season-high 546 yards against Indiana. With four drives of over 70 yards Saturday afternoon, the offense continued to display the balance and versatility the coaching staff has stressed. Zordich, Zordich, Michael Sordich and Zach Zwinnick averaged five yards per carry. Eight different players caught a McGloin pass, including tight ends Jesse James and Matt Lehman. The tight ends play one of the most important offensive positions in the Nittany Lion offense. They are coached by a man with over 30 years of experience in the college game. My name is John Michael Strollo from Long Branch, New Jersey. I coach the tight ends. I'm working with the best and the brightest. I'm in a university setting. I'm surrounded by people that are trying to develop young people. I'm, I'm learning from the, the guys go. around me that are also doing the same job I'm doing. There you go, good. The total collection of what we have, there's nothing better. Well, a good job by McGloin. He's getting pressure, but he gets the football out to his tight end and took it down that sideline for a first down. John and I coach together at Duke University. He's a very, very knowledgeable football coach. He sees things uh, from a tight end offensive line perspective that really help us in the running game. And we're seeing the four tight ends in together. And then he does a really good job with, with the individual technique of that position, whether it's blocking or blocking technique or route running techniques. He's a very patient coach, which, which I think is uh, one of his outstanding qualities. And I think the guys have really taken to his coaching style. Coach Ola knows what he's talking about. He has great techniques for us, and he's getting us all better. Teachers teach ideas, and coaches teach habits. And you've got to be able to teach and coach. You have to drill to, to get the muscle memory. You're going to do it this way. You're gonna, you've done it enough times. You know, you're in front of 100,000 people or in front of nobody. You know, you have to do it the same way every time. Offensively, it's the second hardest position to learn, you know, behind quarterback. A tight end in the Nittany Lion offense has to know several positions on the field. We have a Y tight end and an F tight end. The Y tight end is usually a little bit bigger. He's an inline blocker, meaning he's in a three-point stance blocking. He runs uh, short to intermediate routes. He's very involved in the passing game. Our F tight end is a little bit smaller than a Y tight end, a little bit faster maybe, more of a receiver than the Y. Both of those positions, we move them all around in the formation. So you'll see him split out wide. You'll see him attached to the line of scrimmage. You'll see him in the backfield. How often have we seen Bill O'Brien take a tight end at fullback and make him the primary receiver? Jesse James, touchdown. So Gary Gilliam is definitely a Y. He's a 270-pound guy that's a tough guy, good blocker, a good intermediate route runner. He's definitely a Y player. Kyle Carter is an F, more of a receiving tight end. He's a tough guy now. He'll, he'll block you, too, in the running game. And then he's done an excellent job of, of catching the ball for us. Kyle Carter was having an outstanding freshman campaign for Penn State as the Y tight end until the season-ending injury at Nebraska. The versatility and depth at the position has made up for the loss. The interesting thing is we're asking two or three players to really learn two positions on every play. Jesse James and Matt Lehman, they're unique. They kind of go to each position. They can do things that, that combine both the Y and the F. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat, the situation we have here right now at the tight end position. If you want to play tight end and you want to be an NFL tight end, there's no better place in the country to come play tight end than right here at Penn State. As the former offensive coordinator of the AFC champion New England Patriots, no one in the NFL utilized tight ends better than Bill O'Brien. He knows what it takes to groom the next Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez.